HomeGuysChaseChaseWins.com Friday, and it is the 29th of April. Happy Friday, everyone. New weekend is here. Another great weekend upon us. Last couple of days of April what has been a record-setting April. Uh, this week, obviously, if you watched yesterday's video, uh, we did a recap of Monday and Wednesday. We did not do a recap of Tuesday, and that's because Tuesday didn't have any plays. Rare to not have plays, especially this time of year. But again, every so often it will happen. There's just nothing out there with enough value or enough of an edge or you know what have you or both to justify putting money on or releasing it to our clients to do so. So going into yesterday, only having two days out of the three where we actually had things that were released and played both days were fantastic both hit game of the week plays and then you add thursday in swept mlb again yesterday two and oh one of those i gave you for free on the cardinals the cardinals yesterday i told you exactly what was going to happen in that game i told you exactly what was going to take place it was diamondbacks on the road taking on the cardinals in st louis at bush stadium easy win over seven and a half runs. I told you guys that I had nine and a half, and even that set on video was being conservative about it. And what they do, put up 11 runs between the two. I mean, St. Louis by themselves put up over the total. So even if Arizona had not scored, which they did more than once, the ticket would have still cashed. Won that second premium play of the day was the Braves. We got them as a team total over four runs. I don't know why in the world we could get that at 150, um, but it was a gift. It was a gift from God. Another easy win, another sweep day, a 2-0 and day on Thursday. That makes six, you know, following up the 4-0 sweep in MLB on Wednesday, making it 6-0 and over two days. Going into Friday, I'm going to give you two MLB plays that I'm looking at for tonight. Uh, one and one yesterday in the NHL, two and one in NBA. So, Another day where, again, this week, this was the final week, obviously, of the month of April because April does end after tomorrow, going into Sunday. That will be May 1st. And all we needed to do to set the record to have the, as far as overall units of profit made this week, once we finished out last Sunday, looking at the books, we needed to pick up 28 units of profit. 28 units of profit between Monday and Saturday, and that would have put us exactly one unit above, um, you know, the the record that we held that you know went back that was previously set in right around mid 2019. It was actually it, it was in you know it was in June, so I say right there you would consider that truthfully the first half of 2019, but I consider that to be right there at the halfway point. Um, kind of like that medium month where you're right there in the midst of everything. You're wrapping up NBA and NHL. Uh, MLB is in full, full swing. And you're only about 90 days out from getting football into full swing. Speaking of football, a lot of people have been reaching out because the NFL, NFL draft and all that stuff. And what we did last year where we're for the first time, we started doing like a super early bird on college football and the NFL and allowing people to come in that were getting ready to buy the uh, MLB season pass and do almost like a buy one get one type thing so we're going to do it it's going to be a little bit different this year so your two options are going to be where you can get the mlb season pass at a discount mind you because this is what we're going to do i am actually for the next week going to discount major league baseball just a little bit but you're going to get things on top of it so the discount actually runs much deeper than you think so $2,500 is the typical cost for an MLB season pass. That gives you every premium and daily top play from you know the day you buy it all the way through the World Series, all that. Now, you don't get games of the week, month, year, all that. That has to be a, a true all-access pass um, to do that, or you buy those separately. Now, what you can do for $2,000, so $500 cheaper than what MLB costs by itself, you can get not only the MLB season pass, what you would normally pay $2,500 for, and you will also get NFL or college football, the full season pass from you know, week one all the way through the national championship or all the way through the NFL playoffs. Um, 
everything but the Super Bowl game itself. Um, again, whichever one you choose, add it on absolutely free. And that's going to be, I mean, that in and of itself is an additional $2,000 in value, you know, just tacked on for free. So not only are you getting a $500 discount on the package itself, you're getting an extra $2,000 worth of premium membership for a sport that you know that you're going to be playing come, you know, the late summer, early fall for free. Now, you don't want to do that. You say, no, you know what, I'll wait on football for when we're later in the summer, getting clo you know, closer to when football actually begins, but you definitely want to do MLB. Well, I can't tell you how many times someone has requested that we have all-access packages for just single sports. So instead of having to buy a, you know, all-access pass across the board where you're buying, you know, a a week, a month, or a year all access that covers all sports, being able to buy a season pass in one sport, but it be an all access membership, meaning that you will get the games of the week, the games of the month, the game of the year, everything all the way through the playoffs, anything, you know, special that comes out, um, whether it be futures, leans, like all-star game type stuff, you know, the Super Bowl within the, you know, the NFL, that's what people have been wanting. So they would not have to worry about buying plays separately, you know, every week and every month throughout the season. They would just know that they're automatically going to get it with their purchase. Never done it before. Don't know that we're going to do it outside of this or even past this season. But because we did release the seven-day all-access pass this year, we have decided to go ahead and release this too. Kind of give it a trial for this season, see how it goes, and we would make a decision, you know, come football time or come next baseball season as to whether or not we would make it a permanent part of the firm. So what you can do is $2,500 is what you would normally pay to get just the standard Major League Baseball season pass from me, the MLB King. But what if for the same price you could get an all-access pass and get every single game of the week, game of the month, and the game of the year, all the way through the World Series, every single, I mean, if it's anything related to Major League Baseball, doesn't matter how low or high it's rated, how much it would normally cost or be, or how much extra it is, you get it, no extra charge, no questions asked, nothing you have to do, you get it the second it's released automatically without saying a word. And you get it for the same price. Now, if you think about what it would cost you just in Game of the Weeks, you know, you're going to pay $50 for a Game of the Week. Well, if there's a game of the week once every week, let's just say that. So you're going to pay $200 a month over the course of six months. That's an additional $1,200. Then let's say six months, you're going to get one game of the month each month. That's an additional $600. That's $1,800. Then you're going to pay a couple hundred bucks for some game of the years. We usually have one before the All-Star break and post-All-Star break. So that's going to be another $400. Bucks. So you're going to be spending you know, $2,200 plus in just those plays alone, plus the $2,500. So you're going to be upwards of five grand is what you would pay to get all of that. And you would all, you have to be making those purchases throughout the season. Make one purchase, $2,500. You're basically getting every game of the week, month, and year absolutely free is basically what it's coming down to. $2,500, bucks, $2, you get it all. If you want those, reach out to me if you need me to go over how you would go to the site and buy it. But we're, we're going to do that through the weekend, um, you know, through Sunday at midnight Pacific time. After that, we're going to pull it, kind of just review kind of how it went, um, how it's going, and whether or not we want to keep that going for the rest of the season um, as far as offering it for people to buy. Now, as far as the one-week all-access passes go for $2.99, I discounted those down the other day for $1.99 because we were having so many people that didn't get on initially when we ran that, you know, you know, initial promo for when it was released. And, you know, I guess we decided to do it. Now, it was supposed to end at midnight last night. Now, because website traffic slowed way down about 10 o'clock last night, we decided, okay, we were going to go ahead and switch over all of the system and everything to get, you know, over into the temp space. So, the servers actually went down for about an hour, but it made everything run really weird for the following few hours after that. Now, everything's back to normal now. Didn't realize that there were about a dozen people trying to actually buy that before the time was up and it would go back to normal. We found that out this morning going through, obviously, you know, client emails, people reaching out. So I have decided to, you know, 
just to make sure that we are doing right by people. We went back and looked. They were trying to buy it, and they were trying to do it within the time frame. It was before 3 a.m. Eastern Time, 12 Pacific. So we have decided to extend that one day until 3 a.m., Eastern 12 midnight Pacific time tonight where you can get seven day all access pass giving you every premium play daily top play game of the week month year across all sports every single thing in every single sport for seven days for only $1.99 and if you do the recurring billing where you do it every week you're grandfathered into that price where every week you're going to be paying that discounted price just remember that if you ever cancel that you will not get that when you re-sign back up inevitably, which you will do. So, anyway, 2-1 and one in uh, NBA yesterday, 1-1 one and one in the NHL, and another 2-0 and oh sweep from the MLB King. Best in Major League Baseball in the industry, hands down. That's what we've got going on today. Go get on the seven-day all-access pass, or you know what? If you already have been on an all-access pass before, whether it be one sport or all the sports, you already know what it's like. Take advantage over the next, you know, between right now and the, uh, you know, Sunday afternoon or Sunday evening, excuse me, and get on that buy one, get one where you pay two grand, get the Major League Baseball plus NFL or college football of your choice. Or $2,500, you get the MLB season, but in all-access rates. All you have to do is reach out to me on Twitter if you have any questions on it. If you want to do the buy one, get one, you need to reach out before you purchase anything so we can talk about which is the free one that you're going to get and make sure that we go through simultaneously as you're signing up and add the additional free you know, season pass that you're going to be getting and ensure that by the time you're you're purchase is made that your account is activated as it should be according to what you want so that's all we've got for right now it's going to be a huge weekend everybody was asking uh you know about a game of the month for mlb because we're about a month into the season now um we've only released one game of the week thus far I, you know m most people that have been with me before they all know that it's about the 30 day mark before i ever release the first game of the week and it can be weeks after that before the first game of the month ends up coming out now, I, I did start telling people that there was a game that I was eyeballing that I did believe was going to have game of the month potential this weekend. Um, but again, I haven't pulled the trigger yet. Obviously, I have to see what bullpens do over the next 24 hours. Uh, as long as pitching rotations stay, who's going to be at home plate as far as umpires and who's going to be out you know, covering the infield and being the, you know, the base umps for that game. So there's a lot still to go over and a lot can still happen to make what I think will happen you know, change course. So, it, and again, even if it does stay the course like I want it to, I cannot guarantee that I will pull the trigger. But if it stays as highly rated as I have it now, and a line is released or odds are released of where there is financial value there, which I've got a range that it can be within. And if it is that, then it will stay high enough rated for it to be beyond the game of the month, so I will release it as such. If it doesn't fall within that, even though it may still could be technically a game of the month for my ratings, I'm going to hold off, and our first game of the month will you know, will then mo most likely come in the month of May, and I'm already looking at next week's potential game of the week for both NHL and MLB, both of which we cash this week, 12 straight in NHL. We've only had one for MLB this week, and of course it was a nice easy winner as they – Pretty much all will be, and you guys know that from being with me each and every Major League Baseball season. 2022 is off to an amazing start, as we expected it to be. So let's keep it going with a big Friday. Let's get you on some free plays. Let me just double-check what we've got going on. Tonight, 645, you got Seattle on the road all the way across the country, down in the lower corner in Miami, playing indoors in the hot, humid Miami air. This one... This, I mean, this is a game that I, I, you know, intrigues me a lot more than it should. Most people are going to kind of see this game and go, uh, who in their right mind would ever want to give this game a second thought, pay any attention to it, or God forbid, waste their time watching it and or attending it. I would love to be at this game. I am so intrigued by what Miami's been doing over the past couple of years. You guys know that. I do not like the fact that Derek Jeter stepped down, but I'm hoping that maybe he'll find his place there at kind of like a field-level position to actually help do a little player development without actually being a hands-on you know, player development guy. 
I doubt it's going to happen, but I would like to see it. But anyway, this is a game right now. Seattle's laying a dollar twenty-five. You can get Miami at plus a dollar five. And if there was ever an under, a very small home underdog tonight that was worth sprinkling some fun money on, this would be it because I trust Miami and their coaching staff more than I do Seattle. Even though Seattle has those key pieces that Miami needs to get to push them over the edge into playoff, you know, a playoff team year in and year out. Um, Seattle just needs a lot of other things to take what they already have in talent as a playoff team to actually get to the playoffs and sustain something like that. But you've got Matt Brash and Isaac Hernandez going up against each other tonight. No, neither one of them are anything to write home about. Over, you know, well over a four ERA in terms of Seattle, Miami, right here, you're about a five and a half. But if you look at that, obviously Miami's not a place where a lot of runs are going to be scored. Both of these pitchers actually have an advantage going up against these particular lineups to pad those ERA numbers, bring them down a little bit, and not make them look as atrocious as they are. And if you actually look at it, this is a low total at sitting at seven and a half, which is a joke. But it actually makes sense if you're looking at based on the way these two pitchers do it. But right now, both of these teams are swinging the bat so well and so aggressively. I've got to believe that both teams are going to get on the board multiple times. And if they do it early in the game, that's going to keep that momentum going. And this is going to cross over the total before we even end the seventh inning. We won't even get to the stretch before the eighth run is scored. So I am going to take the over Seattle-Miami, over seven and a half runs at minus $1.10. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of fun money on the small home dog at plus $1.05, taking Miami to up set uh, Seattle in the first game of this one. And then another one that I like, and again, what you really need to do is be on the premium place tonight to see what I'm really investing into these games that I'm giving you. But just looking at it kind of from the 10,000 foot view here, I really, really do like the Padres and the Pirates tonight. I really do believe that San Diego, i tell you what, you know what, we were going to look at the side and the total of that one. I want to look at one more. Yeah, there we go. Frankie Montas tonight pitching at home, 9.45 p.m. Oakland, taking on the Cleveland Guardians. It's the fucking Cleveland Indians. All right, Aaron Savali, I have no love for him whatsoever. I think he's overrated, to say the least. And, uh, you know, with just shy of a 10 ERA, people are saying he's going to turn it around and be one of the bright spots for Cleveland. Give me a break. Jeff Passan, find another job. Because takes like that is what proves to the world that you are not only just utterly retarded, but that you know absolutely nothing about the game of baseball and the way stats work. So, anyway, Savali, he's a joke. Oakland, they're still coming out of a slump at the beginning of the season. They're starting to find their rhythm a little bit. And I think Frankie Montas is actually going to be allowed to go deeper into the game. His ERA isn't anything special. I mean, obviously, he's just shy of a four. Well, no, his last game, he padded it down, you know, less than three and a half. But again, I think he's going to be sitting around a four ERA most of the season. But they've got to start letting him get into that sixth inning and seeing if he can't push it to seven. Because with as young as he is and as healthy as he is, that could actually be a bright spot in the American League in a small market like Oakland before they end up inevitably selling off and going to Vegas. Like I, you know, cringe at the thought that they'll do, but it'll happen. But right now, this line should be Oakland money line minus a dollar eighty-five minus a dollar ninety. The fact that I can get Oakland at minus a dollar fifty-five, a dollar fifty in a couple of spots. All day long. Anywhere from 160 and below, take Oakland money line there. You can take that for the same amount that you you know risk your premium wager for the Miami Seattle over seven and a half runs, and then your fun money lean half unit, sprinkle something on it, plus a dollar five home dog, Miami Marlins money line plus a dollar five. Three free plays for you. Love you guys. NHL big night coming up. Huge MLB night coming up. There will be a play tonight in the NBA playoff game with Memphis and Minnesota, so make sure you check that out. Go get on the 199 seven-day all-access pass, or better yet, jump on that MLB special. It's going to be a huge, huge weekend. We're only about eight units shy of breaking that record, and we've still got 48 hours to do it. I think we could cross that over tonight. Make sure you're with us. Love you guys, and we will see you in the winner's circle. Good luck.